Hello everyone. Oh, I've got steel pinnings, not your biatch in here, and uh, I've gotten a false set out of him. The key will work uh, counterclockwise, but it doesn't want to work clockwise. But I'm trying to pick it clockwise. Because so. we don't need no stinking key. Yeah, sometimes if the lock, even if the key won't work, you can get a lock open sometimes, so. You can't always judge. Usually if they supply a key and it's a challenge, I'll turn it and see which way is easier and usually try to go that way. But that doesn't always work. The good thing about these are you can go counterclockwise and give that a try. Whereas if you're on a padlock, you're stuck. Unless you got a trick up your sleeve like a plug spinner know what you're doing well, I've got no tricks up my sleeve and yeah this guy is just one tough cookie one tough nut to crack I know that acts like counter rotation, but I've been fooled before. I'm about to be fooled again. Man, I had to come all the way back to get that guy in. I don't think I got him. I just dropped everybody. I don't know what he's got in here, but it's pretty wicked. Pretty wicked little lock. And I sure would like to have an opening today. You're listening to me, lock. I would like for you to open up. If you can cooperate, things will go easier on you. If you don't cooperate, things are going to go rough. And. Nothing. Yep, I would have been off work and on my way home by now. It's good to have one day off in the middle of the week sometimes. Especially if you get paid for it. I can see how it's going to be when I retire, man. I'm going to be spending days like this where I just sit here and like, all right, today I'm going to get in this lock. And yeah. What'd you get accomplished? Ooh, slight false set here or more of a deep false set. That guy is definitely... Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, the key would not open this guy up. Clockwise. Oh, he fell down. He's down over here. There's no shenanigans going on. It's just a lock jumped out of the... Jumped out of the holder. He's camera shy. Tough. We don't care if you're camera shy or not. We're going to open your butt. All right, let's clear this area off. I'm so happy to get another challenge lock open. Let me tell you. Look at that ridge on my finger there. I've been picking and picking and picking. But I got one. 
And now I've just got to uh, disassemble him. He's got a nice little schlag type of core here, which makes it easier for. You know, you're not going to have a seat clip fight. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm just pushing it down with a little pick. And... Hey, 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 hey. Let me stick the key in here because the coil is trying to rotate. I could lock him back up, but I don't want to. Because I'm getting ready to shim him. There we go. Got him off. Here's a little pin. You want to come out, little spring? You can stay in there if you want. If you just, there we go. I was gonna say you can stay in there as long as you stay in there. All right, let me get a shim. Yeah, last night I picked on Albert LaBelle's The Corpse and got it open off camera and I didn't realize I was off camera. I went, oh crap. I spent another hour and a half trying to get it on camera. Yeah, he's got some definite T-pin stuff going on here. It's hard to get him past that guy. My shim is bending. You know what? I can try it. I can try to ride the follower. Let's see if this guy is too big. He may be. He looks like he might be the right size. Aha! Oops! A pin just ran away. Um, I gotta find him. There was like a... I had picked a driver in pin two and he fell out. Let me put these guys in here. Gotta go find that guy. Real tiny driver. Yeah, he's got some deep undercuts here. All standard pins. But that little driver jumped away. I don't know where he... I'm gonna have to go find him. Well, let's get into the Bible and see what we got here. But I did do an overset on one of them. There's my tweezers. Pin one is a nicely serrated guy. With a copper spring. Pin two is just a copper spring. That's the, the guy I gotta find. He looked like a T-pin. Let me get a probe in here, a hook probe. Trying to get that spring out. This is a steel spring. You don't want to really come out that much. I'll try to coax him out. There you go. Get over in your proper slot. Pin three is... Man, he don't want to come up above the shear line. Look at that. He's just sitting in there. Oh, a hell of a spool. Or a T-pin. Or... Oh, he's a spool. 
Copper Spring. Ten minutes on my time. Nice little deep spool there. Pin four, what surprise do we have? I see something underneath. There's something else underneath three. Looks like a little ball or something. What is that? He's mashed down there anyway. He's coming out. I don't know what that is. This is five, I believe. He's standard. Yeah. Get the spring out of five. Yeah, the driver in uh, four is is wedged down there. He don't want to come out. Huh. We got a mystery pin. It's camera shy. And I've got another pin that ran away. Yeah, there's something in four. I can see him. He don't want to come up. My little, my little hammer. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I may have to take this cap off to get him. I don't know if you can see that, but he's... He's right down there. See that? It looks like a spring is uh, trapped on the side of him. Let's hook him in there. See that spring? I've got other springs, so... There we go. Nice little spool guy. There we go. Come on out. Nice spooled guy, and I'm going to have to replace that copper spring because he got mangled. And it's already been gutted, so I'm going to have to pause this. We've got counter milling on, uh, I'll just drop my pick. One is normal, two is counter milled a little bit and a nice deep undercut on him. Three is smooth, just a little ridge up here, but I don't know if that's part of it. Four is smooth, and five is smooth. And we got a little bit of counter milling. I can't tell, look at that. That's like a little lip there. And there's another lip over here. Anyways, let me go uh, find that other pin, and uh, let me show you what we do have so far. Um, number one is a standard. They're all standard on the bottom. We've got a serrated on top. This guy, I believe, was a T-pin. I'm going to try to find him. And then we got a nice spool right there with a big standard driver. This guy here, he got his spring caught up underneath him. And that's why he wouldn't come up. And then we've got like a nice little barrel, ass a barrel type thing. Really huge. Uh, so yes, thank you for watching. And uh, let me go try to find that pin. Well, I've looked and looked and all I could find was these three standard pins on the floor. On the ground, which uh, 
I don't think that's what he had in here. So I'm going to have to get with him and find out what was in there and how to replace it. Make my own or something because, uh, yeah, I can't find that puppy. I'll keep looking. Thank you for watching and happy picking.